I am this snatched overnight using Vicks Vaporub? What? I'm telling everybody about this. Hey booze, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new, hello. My name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out if you enjoy content like this, as well as hitting that post notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload and follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too. You guys, this I've been holding out. I wanted to kind of, y'all know I'm showing y'all my weight loss journey backwards. I want to do, I wanted to do like a build up, you guys. I use this one simple thing, this VIX right here. And when I tell you this stuff works, I am so glad I recorded every single thing so you guys can see it. Now, mind you, I recorded this during my weight loss journey. So this is not me right now. This is me when I was starting my weight loss journey. For those of you who are new and don't know what's going on, this is me prior to my weight loss journey. And then this is me now after my weight loss journey. But in the middle, in the middle, when I was first starting off, I recorded this footage just for you guys to see it I don't want to do too much rambling I do want to jump right into this video because it speaks for itself you guys are about to see how I got snatched literally overnight using Vicks Vaporub so I'm about a week into my weight loss journey and I've been seeing a little bit of results but it's really hard to see any results with this big fat belly in a way I cannot wait to one day be able to share my journey with you guys if I ever do share this time around. Would y'all ever think that this is a body of somebody who had a BBL? Like, sis, don't let nobody tell you you cannot gain weight back after a BBL. Don't let nobody tell you. And this fat pack right here, it looks so weird because I had uneven lipo and it's extra fat over here so it make it look like this part of my stomach is literally bulged out so if you get a bbl take care of your body this won't even stay down and not to mention the pants don't really fit like that but anyway yeah that's a fun fact if you get a bbl and you overeat you're gonna be looking like me if you let yourself gain weight back anyway so i'm about to do a challenge that is called the vix vapor up challenge and i'm just doing it to see if it helps to speed up the process of getting rid of any bloat or anything like that i've been seeing a lot of girls doing it and i know that i'm out of breath sis i know that um i'm gonna try it so you guys are about to see that in this video i'm about to show y'all me rubbing it on my stomach and me doing everything and this is just attempt to lose bloat overnight in 24 hours if it work i'll keep actually trying it i don't know about rubbing big vapor up on my body like all the time but i definitely will add it into my regimen but i wanted to record it just in case it worked later on in my journey or after my journey is done i could come back and show you guys different things that i've tried i'm actually planning on trying a couple of things but um, throughout this journey and recording it and maybe showing you guys like I said but I'm excited to try this and see if it worked and then let you guys know oh my goodness hopefully it do get off of some of this blow because girl I did it to myself okay so let's do some measurements really quick of my whole stomach or whatnot so the bottom area, y'all can't even, this is me trying to hold in my stomach. Literally, I can, can't even hold it in. So the bottom, as you guys can see, what is that? 42. And then the middle, let me get in the middle. Oh, this thing is twisting. Let me see. The middle is 45, as you guys can see. Then the top chest area, let me get it so y'all can see. This is 40. So I'll do these measurements again in 24 hours once I got my wrap and stuff on. But in the meantime, I'm about to show you guys how I put on the wrap. I literally look pregnant. Oh, I look pregnant. Mm -mm -mm. So 
so to do this i'm going to show you guys what i have i have my um plastic wrap right here and i have my vix right here and then i have my waist trainer right here that i'm going to be putting on all for tonight so and you guys i looked this up i did my research on it you guys know i don't do too much of nothing without doing any research vix in hand i'm putting it on me um without doing too much research and this is vix is not going to harm you in any type of way you'll do more harm to yourself by putting it inside of your nose you know how old school people put it <laughs> inside the nose when you got a stuffy nose yeah you'll do more harm to yourself doing that this is not harmful you can literally put vix on sore muscles and of course on the front of your nose if you have a stuffy nose uh let's get that back fat y'all so yeah i'm gonna do this and whoo y'all uh, uh th you know it's so funny that um it's so funny to me i think that might be enough with my lipo because i had lipo and like a tummy tuck and stuff my stomach it grows up here like i was telling you guys but it hurts on a daily basis because my stomach is it's even though it's big it's still super tight my stomach being this big is like a stretch for a stretch for my body to pull it off because my stomach and back and stuff was so tight so it hurts like it's literally uncomfortable uh being like this i cannot believe i did this to myself my band-aid is coming off y'all that's why it's so important if you get lipo to keep yourself together like take my advice and keep yourself together don't do what i did don't do as i how that say that don't do as i do do as i say i'm not gonna wrap too much of this around me because i don't know i'll be afraid of bacteria and all of that kind of stuff so I'm going to do it like this. Do that. That's there. I've been seeing people literally get good results off of doing this, y'all. For real, for real. So, let's see if it works. Woo. And this sweat, man, is the bomb. It barely fit right now. And this is a size large. I cannot wait till I start losing weight to get it gone. I mean, to get to um to be able to just wear it comfortably or get a smaller size i don't know but let me tighten it up oh this hurts so bad this is gonna be an uncomfortable night of sleep but i want to see how it works let's see keep it like this and i will see you guys in the morning good morning last night was hectic i feel like a stuffed potato this morning oh my goodness but let me take this off look how much smaller i literally look already it's super early it's been like six hours seven hours maybe even eight i don't know but uh, i look so much smaller already I felt the burn of the, not the burn, because it didn't hurt burn or none of that stuff. But I felt the burn, oh, should I say, of the, um, what you call it, the VIX last night. Y'all look how much smaller already. And my stomach look kind of like weird on this side because of my lipo when um my sides was so big that when i got my lipo it um it indented on this side so much that it just left it kind of looking weird so that's why my stomach looked kind of like lopsided look how different already is crazy <laughs> Six. Damn. 
dang what is that like seven inches six inches or something crazy 35 <clears throat> and then 38 girl my outfit is even feeling a little bit different today but anyway so um i have my measurements here on the side and at the top area last night i was 40 inches today i'm 38 which is three inches gone around the rib area and my ribs is actually wide naturally so that'll go down more with weight loss right and then um this around the stomach area where the actual fat is that was 45 last night today that's 36 that is 10 inches down 10 inches gone off of that overnight that, that was like six hours literally that's sick 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 and then 42 last night was at the bottom area and i'm 35 today that's seven inches y'all as a person who have had liposuction and know about compression, compression really does work, right? And you put that with something that's hot like Vicks. If you can continue that over and over again, I wouldn't recommend it every single night, but every other day, that will help you to flatten out your stomach along with your healthy eating, working out, and that is what I'll continue to implement throughout my weight loss journey a couple of times a week. And I would have never thought to do nothing like this unless I would have seen the other girls do it here on YouTube. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy for YouTube and the things that you learn here on YouTube. 10 freaking inches, 3 inches, 7 inches. That's insane. That's insane. And as I said, my um rib area, if you have like small if you have a smaller structure, um cuz my structure is naturally like I said, as I lose weight, my ribs at the top area of my stomach get smaller with the weight loss versus it's just that's just crazy, y'all. That's crazy. So what I did want to say is um, I don't know when I'm ever going to show this, right? I don't know when I'm ever going to show this journey. But if I ever do show it here on YouTube, just know that you are not alone in your weight loss journey. I'm here and I'm bearing it all. I don't know what this is going to come of, but one thing I don't care about is people and trolls in my comments talking crap. A lot of times when I show my weight loss journey, a lot of times when I show different things, it's to help those who those who probably will never come out and speak on their journey, but just want to look around and want some help and want to do it in a quiet way. You know, I want to help those people. Those are the people that I want to help, the silent ones, the voiceless ones, the ones that don't know where to turn and just want to find a video to lift them up or to help them throughout their journey or to help them throughout their day those are the ones that i want to help you know so um if that's you watching like i said i don't know when you are going to be watching this if it's after i finish my weight loss journey or during this time but you're not alone and um don't give up on yourself how many times have i did this this weight loss journey thing here on youtube this is probably my third time or so but I could care less. It's okay. <laughs> I choose not to give up on myself. And neither should you. <sighs> Y'all. And look, look at me. I'm literally alone doing this thing. I'm literally alone showing my journey to you guys. So if I'm without excuse, you're without excuse. I have kids, a husband, a life. Um, I could easily be like, oh, forget it. I'm going to give up on myself and not lose the weight. But what am I going to do? Other than that, what am I going to do? Just like give up on myself and be fat, unhealthy, high blood pressure and all of that. No, I'm to keep fighting, moving and going just like you should as well. So I don't want to hold y'all too long on this, but I'm super excited because I know, like I said, with compression, 
this stuff will definitely continue to work. And I can imagine how in one month, two months, three months, how much smaller my waist will be. I'll be back into the, into the 20s where I was before. And that's exciting. And it's not all about numbers, but <laughs> then again, it is, girl. This stuff works. Now, what I did was I used this method in my weight loss journey for two months. And I did it twice a week, two months, twice a week. And then, y'all, I just got snatched pretty much got snatched now i'm so happy to share this simple step with you guys so let me know if you tried it if you tried it did it work for you let me know in the comments down below